To celebrate MLK Day, I went to MLK Memorial in Washington, D.C. to talk to people about Martin Luther King's proposed solution to poverty, the guaranteed income. Okay, so what, what are we talking about here? So we're talking about the guaranteed income. This is what Martin Luther King was talking about in his last book. Uh, and he dedicated his la the last chapter to this. And this is what he was working on at the end of his life. Um, and that was economic justice for all. His idea was the solution to poverty is just to give people money. Bottom line is we have more than enough resources to feed and house everybody. In America, we throw away 40% of the food that we produce. We have six vacant homes for each homeless American. So what's the issue? It's not that we don't have enough resources. We have more than enough resources. People just don't have money. And so if we provide people the money, man, life is good. It, it, el it eliminates poverty, it eliminates uh, exploitation of the poor. If you want to eliminate poverty, you eliminate the exploitation of the poor. Direct quote from MLK. Now, uh, people have a lot of uh, issues with this automatically. Uh, any, anybody want to throw one out? Any issues? Like, what's wrong? Why, why can't you just give somebody money for free? Can you, any thoughts? Well, here, here's what some people would say. They say, well, they'll stop working. Well, the truth is, humanity, we want to do things. I mean, come on, I, me, you both, we could probably, uh, maybe we could binge watch a, a Netflix series, but eventually we're gonna, gonna get out and do something with our lives. That's natural human nature. Another thing is this would, Naga. the most proposals of a guaranteed income, would eliminate the cur current bureaucratic welfare system. So the current uh, welfare system with unemployment, that's a disincentive to work. There's no uh, requirements to not work with the guaranteed income. You can earn as much money as you want. So when people say that this is a disincentive to work, that's not true. This removes the current disincentive to work in our welfare system. Oh, here's, here's another very interesting detail. Is, uh, this is regaining popularity because of automation and technology taking jobs away. Oxford has predicted that half of nearly half of all jobs will be replaced with automation within the next 20 years. MLK saw that coming. He wrote about the issue of automation uh, taking away jobs in his book. Um, he got it right here, here's his book. <laughs> uh, last book, where do we go from here? Chaos or Community. So hopefully I've sparked a little interest in uh, the legacy of MLK. Just want to remind everybody that there's, there's so much more uh, than just what the textbooks focus on, which is the civil rights movement, which is incredibly important and a fascinating story. Uh, one we shouldn't forget, but there's just so much more uh, and it's so relevant today. Great. Please hit the like button, leave a comment. And thanks for watching. Matt Orphalia, I guess that's how you pronounce it. YouTuber Matt Orphalia. The YouTuber named uh, Matt uh, Orphala. Wow, somebody knows Absolutely, me. Absolutely, baby. Cool. We watch your videos, we make them go viral. People were enjoying it. Sorry. All right, let's walk out here.